Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about canvas tote bags. You know, these things you see artists carrying around all the time with all their weird stuff in it. They really work great for me because you can put anything in them, especially if it doesn't fit in your art box, right? But what I like to do with them is to do a paint on it. Why not? It's canvas. Especially if it has a logo of somebody's brand name on it. I'll just gesso over it, just like a regular canvas. And I do a painting on it. That way I know where it is. I can find it. And I know it's my bag. So this is all about painting your own art tote bag. Let me show you how it works for me. So here's a typical canvas bag that I've picked up at Art of the Carolinas. What I like to do is take a hard board, stick it inside, gives it a nice hard flat surface. I've already started to put some white tape down. I'm masking it off. Let's go like that. See, this part's gonna have gesso on it. There we go. That. So that will be the area of the painting. Next thing I do is get a piece of cardboard, put the gesso on it, use the cardboard like a squeegee. That way I could just throw it away. Nothing too clean. By the way, these make really nice gifts. It's that time of the year, right? People would love to have a tote bag with your painting on it. There you go. So that's the first thing I do. Now I'm going to let it dry. Let's go over here. Here's one that's going to be just the opposite. This is a well-used apron of mine, also from Art of the Carolinas. And I had such an interesting pattern on the apron. I wanted to see what it would look like as an abstract painting. So again, I can take a piece of cardboard, and this time, instead of white gesso, I'm gonna use black gesso. Black gesso. Negative shape painting here, right? There we go. So I'm putting black on the, on the apron itself. Now I wonder what that painting is going to look like. I take off the tape. Cool. Now we have an abstract painting. Let me actually do a painting for you on the next clip. And now I get to actually do a painting. Yay, here I go. It's important that you use really good professional acrylic paints. I'm using Holbein right here. Squeeze out a little bit of blue, some opera. Here's some pyro red and some marigold. Fun colors, right? So here's my apron. I've already put the tape down. The gesso has already dried. Wet the brush a little bit. And let's see what we got. Whoa. See, much big brush. Hey, this is all, it should be fun, that's what it is. Ooh, I can even scrape. Just like doing a, a paint on a canvas. A stretched canvas, because this is a canvas. And I've already had the gesso put on. So now let's take it off. Voila. Look at that. I have this fancy apron I can wear in my studio advertising your own paintings. So after this dries, I put on a UV varnish. Everybody makes a good varnish. And uh, these are 25 years old and I put them through uh, the washing machine several times. 
they've really taken a beating. And don't forget, after it all has dried, don't forget to sign your name with one of those oil-based Sharpies. So this was fun, a little bit different. And now you can actually give some wonderful gifts for this holiday season. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. And don't forget to share this with all your friends. Take care. See you later. Hey, painters. Have you ever felt like you just needed to give yourself some time out and just go away and paint just for you? Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and let me tell you about one of my most favorite places to go and paint in Mexico. I was writing it all down in my journal, and I was reading it back to myself, and I said, you know, this really reads pretty well. I'd much rather read it to you as opposed to trying to remember. But this is all about me going down and doing a painting workshop for two, count them, two one-weekers back-to-back -back in one of my most favorite places, 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta in, my, in our own casa, filled full of a bunch of artists, and the ocean is right there. Let me read you this script that I wrote. It's better than me trying to remember it, okay? Painting in this charming open-air casa studio overlooking the authentic fishing village 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Imagine every day creating in the art studio right on the Pacific coast of Mexico. Ah, that ocean breeze is wonderful, right? Welcome to one of my most favorite times in Latin America, Casa de la Artistas. Come and paint with me, beginners and experienced. Abstract acrylic painting and collage workshops, two, one weeks. Boy, boy, does this ever sound like an advertisement, right? Refresh your creative spirit. Immerse yourself in the Mexican culture while you stay and paint on the top floor of this casa and studio. We'll be painting a lot. This painting workshop emphasizes loose, expressive abstract techniques, creative tearing collage pieces, and paint splashing at the Casa's magnificent open air studio with the sweeping views, boy do, I ever, do we ever have sweeping views, of the ocean and quaint village of Boca de Tamatlan. This is my pancation for me. I hope it's also a pancation for you. Give yourself some time out and reserve your space now. I'll see you down there in Mexico. Hey, thanks for watching. Hi there, painters. Hey, have you ever wanted to meet Van Gogh and Vermeer? I do. Hey, I'm Bob Burridge, and welcome to my Holland Riverboat Cruise. I'm going to Holland. I cannot believe to do a workshop on a riverboat cruise. Nine days of a bliss and imagination and accommodations are spectacular. You know, I did this one in Paris all the way up to Normandy and coming right back down again. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It was spectacular. I said, let's do this again, especially of the accommodation. The crew took care of us. The accommodations, the luxury, were just so well taken care of. The foods, as you can well imagine, the excursions, the entertainment. There's a lot going on on those riverboat cruises, but look where we get to go. We got to go to Van Gogh Museums, Vermeer. We get to see all that history, incredible excursions through those castles, and we get to paint every day. And the meals, we actually hurry back to the lunches on, on, on the cruise ship. It's a small riverboat cruise just for the meals. Let me tell you, they take care of us. One of my favorite things, I'm looking forward to it. Riverboat cruises, that's where it's all happening. Small accommodations educational especially. So you're gonna see a lot of museums, a lot of castles, and do a lot of painting time with me. I hope to see you there.